Hey guys, this is just a quick video on an update. Um, I put a video out last week about the 300 wind mag um, and it being repaired. So I thought by now I'd have a chance to actually go test it, video it, and maybe even group test it. Um, with Bible school and everything that had happened, I just haven't had time to really group test it. But I do want to go ahead and say... Um, Sorry about that. This is just with my phone real quickly. Uh, I do want to say that the gun fired flawlessly. Um, it ejected, injected fine. Um, so I'm really, really tickled with that. Uh, the gun's going to be cleaned uh, so that I can uh, actually group test it. But for the most part, I, I'm... I'm a little skeptical yet. I can't really say that word. Um, I'm a little skeptical uh, of saying that it's perfect or that it's going to be really accurate. Um, I, I don't really know that. Uh, but so far, it's shooting pretty good. Uh, I need to figure out what bullets shoot good in it. Um, still debating on whether I want to reload the 300 Win Mag. Or the 300 PRC. I really like uh, my CVA uh, Cascade in 300 PRC. And it's a little easier to reload for me. A little easier to reload um, a non-belted cartridge. So having said that, so far so good with the 300 Win Mag. If the group testing goes really good, I'll own up. And I will absolutely say thank you to Legacy Arms and whoever their gunsmith was for fixing it. Uh, right now, I'm, I'm pretty impressed and I am very thankful that thus this far, <laughs> it's shooting pretty good. So, uh, uh, really glad. I just I wanted to give you a quick update because I knew that uh, some of y'all were waiting on that. Uh, so, we're going we're gonna to see how it goes. Hopefully, this week I can do... Uh, some group testing with that. Um, I did go ahead and fire my groups that I had reloaded for the 3030. Wasn't crazy impressed, um, but it did give me enough information to know um, how to change up a few things. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with some half grain uh, things. I, I I think I can get the groups probably inch and a quarter at 100 yards, which that's not bad for a lever action. I mean, it, it really isn't. So if I can get a 100 or get a, a 1.2 or 1.3 group at 100 yards with a, those 30-30 bullets, I'm going to call it good. Um, still working on some reloads um, for the 300 Winchester Short Mac. Oh, Man, I love that gun. It shoots so good. Um, and I, I still got to get to the range and fire that 280 AI. I'm excited about that rifle. Um, a lot of people's like, man, why would you go buy a $500 uh, Savage uh, 280 AI when you could buy a blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, because I can't afford it. I mean, I just can't. And uh, I had one comment to a guy, and he was talking about his longest shot, uh, shot was 140 yards. I agree with him. Being in Southwest Virginia, uh, in the woods, we're lucky if we get a eighty-yard shot. You know, maybe at the top of the ridge, shooting down through a holler or something. Even at that, it's pick and choose your shot because of the trees and underbrush and all that. In the fields, uh, between property lines and ridges and such. Hello, Max. My dog decided to come in and visit. Uh, with property lines, fence rows, and woods, 250 yards is a long shot around here on a deer. So uh, I, I think that gun's going to be better than a 250-yard shot. I would be interested, and if you would comment on that, what's your longest shots where you hunt at? Um, that would be a good, a good indicator of what uh, most people shoot. Um, I, from my last video... I'm up to, I think, 425 subscribers. Holy cow, I didn't think I could do that. And I thank the Lord for every one of you. 
And a lot of people told me that, you know, talking about the Lord on YouTube is not a very popular thing to do. Um, but I've had several po uh, very positive comments. And uh, I'm not anything special. I really ain't. But I really do love the Lord. And I really do thank Him for the difference that He's made in my life. Um, and that's that's the biggest reason why I'm doing what I'm doing is because I love the Lord and I love sharing the outdoors, everything that he's given us, everything that is we that we as hunters and sportsmen enjoy. It's because of his magnificent hand. He paints the skies in the evenings uh, and then the daylights. I mean, he just, wow, I just, he's amazing. And I'm I'm glad to know him, and I'm and even more so I'm glad that he knows me. Anyways, I've run my mouth enough. Thank you guys for being a part of the channel. Uh, please like, subscribe, share. But more than anything, I love seeing you guys comment. Um, sometimes I get really busy, and I like to give you a thumbs up or heart. Uh, but if I can, I try my best to respond to every message. And my computer seat just keeps dropping down. That's the shaking. So uh, anyways, until next time, guys, thank you for all that you've done, all that you're going to do. All right. God bless.